What's happening everyone, we're back today with another video. We have a bit of a familiar face on the channel if you've watched the YouTube shorts. Today we're going to be working on this black Fiesta ST. And if you don't know already, this is the one in the YouTube shorts that I got off of my dad um, a while back, quite a while back now actually. And I did a full engine rebuild on it. If you haven't seen it, then be sure to click the link in the description because I'll leave it there. Uh, I've now sold it to a friend of mine and we are now going to be doing some mods to it, which I'll show you now. So we are going to be fitting some AP coilovers. Dan has uh, picked these up the other day. They come off of a track car. As you can see though, they haven't barely seen any use. There's no sort of rust on them. But as you can see, we've got the rear set up. And if you haven't noticed already, these are literally the exact same as what I have on my car. So these ride brilliantly and they are great value for the money. So what we're gonna do now is get the, the car's already jacked up and ready to go. And we're just gonna get the wheels off and start stripping this thing. sensor off this little bracket here so get that off undo the drop link which is a 15 and then a 17 behind the actual uh, knuckle itself we want to remove the clip for the brake hose and then behind that there is a 15 mil bolt hiding just where my finger is. Okay, so that's uh, your clip there. This one has a bit of a pain because it's probably never been off in its life. But done that. Okay, and that's your drop link out. The spinner. You can now see uh, the bolt we need to take out, which is a 15 mil. That's why you buy new bolts. Up here, give it a little spray uh, just to release the actual shock from the hub. So now we're at the top, you just want to undo the 313 mils from here, and then you'll be able to set the shock up. Okay, so when it comes to height adjustment on an AP coilover, if you haven't got a uh, coilover spanner, don't be alarmed. You literally just undo, probably worse than a light in fact, uh, a little 
rod screw, it will be in one of these holes here. I'll try and you can sort of see it here, but yeah. Um, you just put it, literally undo it all the way and put a punch in here and just tap it around and it will do what it needs to do. Because uh, a lot of people don't actually sell them with the spanners, I don't know why but it's just the case. All I'm going to do now is just get this back in to the top half of the car there and then I'll relocate the hub and hopefully bring it back up um, and put this thing back together. back in so what we do is try and get this hub back up what you need to do whilst doing this there is a tab behind here you need to get in line with the hub otherwise it's not going just bear that in mind Whoever designed these. Okay, so if you're struggling with this problem, getting the actual shock into the hub, uh, you can get one of these tools here. It goes into the slot of the hub, like so. And you usually uh, get a half inch ratchet. Use your half inch ratchet, like that. turn it and what that does is open the hub up to get your first initial thing in there so give this a try look at that how much easier is that about there and then be smart buy a brand new bolt don't be stupid it's not worth it once you get your brand new bolt in and there you go brand new just support the wishbone with a bit of weight just tap it either side of the hub and the shock will just fall straight in Okay, so we're now onto the rear. Um, we've done the other side off camera. We're just gonna get it through this side now quite quickly as they're not too bad to really do. So we're just gonna start with pulling the wheel off, get this arch liner out, and then we will focus on getting the shock and spring out and replacing it with the new units. Okay, so we try and focus this a little. Um, 
you've got clip here, clip there, and then in here, you're gonna have one here, one here, there. That one's missing, but it should be there. Another one up there, and one up here. So all they do is pull off, and you should be able to get this whole arch liner out. Basically, the reason being that you take the liner off so you can get to these two 10 mils here. But what we're going to do is obviously get all the bottom half of the shock off, get the spring off first, and then hopefully we will, yeah, we'll basically leave these two last. Okay, so out of the factory, these are a 15 mil. However, they can tend to be a 14 mil as well because these bolts are just awful which as you can see my 14 pretty much goes on so we're just going to give it a little bit of no, no good, right so when in doubt you buy one of these which are easy outs these will be your best friends two 10 mils on the actual shop itself. Because the old uh, springs, they sit on these isolators, just pull them out, which you no longer need those, as coilover, the coilover itself, as you can see, will go in place of the actual old isolator so I'm just going to quickly put this on um, you kind of need two hands to do it just to make sure it's seated correctly uh, also it will have a little rubber seat just so there's no metal to metal contact we've got the adjuster fitted now and what we're going to do is offer the shock up some 10 mils in there. Send them home. There's two sides to the actual spring. You can see there's a flat end and like a rounded end. The flat end you want at the side of the adjusting collar. So if I just
gently try and persuade it in, which I'll do from underneath. Okay, now the spring's in. All we need to do now is get the jack under the axle. And remember, as always, new bolts, because these suck. Yeah. Dan's just gonna jack the axle up now. Got the There we go. As you can see, not too difficult to do the rears on these. Done that in a matter of minutes. So what we're gonna do now is just get the wheel on, lower the car down, and hopefully show you the nice results. Okay, so all back together now. Just gonna get the car jacked up and then um, show you guys what it looks like once it's lowered. A lot better, isn't it? That's a lot better. That's a hell of a lot better. Yeah, much better. Much better. So much better. You have a happy ginge now. Oh, I'm very happy. Very, very happy. You can tell by the smile on my face. I'm actually happy. Oh. Happy days. Okay guys, well, that's all for today's video on lowering Ginger's car. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as we did, because to be fair, this weren't actually that bad to do. Um, probably took longer to film than actually doing the job. But yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care for now.